Hello John, today we're going to talk about a rather serious subject. Catherine Zappone is Ireland's first lesbian government minister. And so and she's all she's a feminist and she's pro-choice. My first question to you is are feminists more likely to be pro-abortion? They do appear to be pro-abortion. Um, uh, Catherine Zappone um, an American citizen, perhaps she has uh, received Irish citizenship since she has been living here uh, with another uh, woman in a, in a marriage uh, between people of the same sex for many years. Uh, she now is a minister for children in this government that we have at the present time. Okay. Do people like Catherine Zappone speak for all women, do you think, in Ireland? Does she represent all the, all the women in Ireland? Uh, no, without a shadow of a doubt, because not all women are lesbians, that's number one. Most women are middle of the road, like most men, middle of the road. Uh, so she, as a minister for children, uh, it seems a, a contradiction uh, that she is pro-choice, which is a, a, a fancy word or a slightly misleading word for people that want abortion on demand. In other words, the murder of the innocents, uh, to put it in a in, in as strong a way as I possibly can, uh, to terminate life at its most vulnerable. Um, th this is what uh, the pro-choice and the captains upon the Minister for Children, uh, which should be neutral in the area, or else a Minister for perhaps extermination, but certainly not Minister for Children. So it's kind of a contradiction. Well, uh, it is a kind of symptomatic of a government that seems to have no rhyme or reason to its to its program. The 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 protection of life, especially as it's most innocent, which is in the womb, is fundamental to mankind and has been for centuries, until this century. Catherine Zappone studied theology and her partner or her, I don't know if it's her husband or her wife, the woman she married, okay, um, she's a former nun. So it seems to be unusual that she would, she would take a stance as she has done on this whole issue of the Eighth Amendment and it seems to be a complete contradiction of, uh, of beliefs. Is. A nun in wonder what uh, religion uh, do you mean Catherine Zabon was a nun? Or no, her, her partner, the I person see. she married. Well, that's even, that's even worse. She, she was a former nun. That's even worse because um, uh, if you're a nun uh, or uh, uh, a priest or uh, a minister in, in a Christian church, uh, there are fundamental obligations uh, for that sacred ministry and uh, anything uh, that pertains to um, the same-sex attraction uh, that uh, uh, people, uh, uh, lesbians and people, uh, homosexuals have. Uh, th th this is something that is um, not part of the Christian teaching. Uh, Christian teaching teaching uh, makes it mandatory uh, for, uh, not mandatory, common sense that a man and a woman uh, are, are the proper way and that they uh, are married uh, as the case might be, which is the ideal, uh, but um, that, that is the way uh, that society has evolved over the centuries from the dawn of civilization. So, 
the idea that um, 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 a minister for children like Catherine Zappone and who is also a feminist uh, is, is something that, that doesn't represent by any means the majority I would think of women. Okay. Should there be an independent evaluation of women who are seeking to terminate, you've bearing in mind the time constraints of pregnancy and sometimes the urgency at which they have to make a decision? Well, uh, a, a woman that's caught in that situation, particularly we'd say if she's young, or for example, if she's married and has had a you know, liaison with somebody other than her husband, uh, there are many factors when a woman is pregnant. Sometimes, but it, 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 it should be able to determine if she's having um, intercourse with a person, there is a very good chance that she would become pregnant. Uh, yes, but what I'm talking about, John, is should there be an independent evaluation? In other words, maybe an independent agency that could be set up for women who are in that position, okay, um, where they have to make an emergency decision because, as I said, the time constraints of pregnancy. So do you think and some independent agency set up maybe by the government, but to, for it to remain independent where they can get independent advice, show them their options properly rather than them going to a pro pro-choice group. Correct. Um, <coughs> you see, this is putting pressure on women that are in a very vulnerable and important position to, about to perhaps eventually give life to another human being like themselves. Now, they should certainly, if they have any confusion and pressure from any source, be it the person that has made them pregnant, be it their family or whoever it is, or even be it themselves, that they have enough common sense to seek independent advice. Now, independent advice is very important. I mean, maybe not all doctors are going to give independent advice. There might be some that might be uh, pro-choice. So, whoever, whatever independent advice a, 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 a girl or a woman in that situation, it is want to be really independent um, so that their individual case could be dealt with. Okay. We could see in the, in, the, in the marriage, the gay marriage referendum, that <coughs> I, I would consider it an undemocratic vote in the sense that the, um, the one side got so many million and the no side um, got very little. Now on the internet, um, the same could happen with abortion. For example, people who are pro-choice can come along and they can spend a lot of money on internet marketing so that if somebody types in about abortion, someone that's pregnant, do you think the government should do more to, to, um, to look at that and, and, and see if there's an unfair, an unfair balance and where it's coming from um, on the internet? Of course they should, but will they? And that, that goes back again to my thing about like an independent evaluation of things because Exactly, an independent. Now, I, 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 I'm afraid I have no trust in this government because um, th this, this government, this Fine Gael government, which are in power now with, with independents, who have a, a pro-choice mentality like this Minister for Children, Catherine Zappone, and others, uh, so, and the media, of course. So, uh, the, the, the ammunition uh, is... is all for pro-abortion. So, this government cannot be trusted in this area. So, it needs to be brought in by the concerned medical profession, which after all are there to protect life in all its forms. Don't forget, in so-called civilised countries, in Europe, and which we're a member, Britain has saw fit to leave it, and I think that the, the, uh, I support our view on that. Some countries have now euthanasia, 
a case that I've read written recently where in Sweden or some of these countries a child with some kind of a what appears to be an incurable disease has now got permission for to end their life. So, you know, the sort of degrading and unhuman approach of the pro-choice and the, and the feminist movement, uh, which do not in any shape, way or form represent womankind. Okay. Should it perhaps be part of the school curriculum to prepare women if they arrive at that decision in their lives? I mean, any, any girl can get pregnant, um, but it may, maybe if it was part of the school curriculum, that it, it wouldn't be such an emergency when it happens. That they might be able to make an informed, proper decision based on what they've learned in school or maybe just a transition year or some kind of area like that. It would be useful for, for uh, children, perhaps in secondary school, to have some input into this area. Now, I don't hold any hope uh, for this government uh, with, with what they have, uh, the way they went about, and the media uh, went about the uh, same-sex marriage referendum. Uh, uh, the, the politicians in the Dáil area, including the opposition, were negligent in their duty and not having a debate. Uh, the church, the, the the churches didn't give any guidance to the to the faithful at uh, what way to, to, to vote. So it was left to the media and the, and, the, and 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 all the organs, print and radio, uh, to mount a campaign in favour of this referendum for same sex marriage and call it under the guidance of tyrants. Finally, Catherine Zappone has mentioned her ambition to be president. She said she would not rule it out. Catherine is a lesbian, a feminist, she's pro-choice and she was not born in Ireland. She represents a minority and as a president you're supposed to represent the majority. So can she be, can she be considered to be presidential material? The, the, the short answer to that is under no circumstances. Uh, but Catherine Zappone and others have got encouragement and uh, uh, going down the road that they're going down because of the same sex referendum which passed. They think they can mount a campaign now uh, by using the media and y y using all the, the um, ammunition that they have and the support of the media to mount this campaign against the uh, abolition of the previous referendum for, which protected the mother and child, which has resulted in the safest country in Europe for mothers and children, uh, especially mothers with, that are pregnant with children in the womb. The safest country to be in, uh, but this feminist and pro-choice and minister for children and others uh, taken heart from that and are coming on with all this to try and destroy uh, uh, the hard-won uh, freedom uh, that women enjoy in this country and try to bring us back to the dark ages as has happened in other countries. It's a very uh, serious subject and I think it's something that we'll come back to in the future. We certainly will because uh, the, the onslaught of these uh, the, these pro-choice, uh, which is a misnomer for abortion, <coughs> the onslaught of those has to be resisted by all sorts of all sorts of people, <coughs> not even people that might be practicing uh, a Christian religion. People of goodwill everywhere want to object to it. Thank you very much, John.